Swimoutlet.com delivers the best online shopping experience. With an extensive selection and the lowest prices, you're guaranteed to find the product you need. Here's what you get. Free shipping on all orders over $49. Free one to two day shipping on all orders over $99. All orders placed by 6 p.m. ship out the same day. Shop at Swimoutlet.com, the web's most popular swim shop. This is the Morning Swim Show for Tuesday, September 18th, 2012. I'm your host, Jeff Cummings. Today in the Finise Monitor is one of the most unsung coaches in the United States. Brooks Teal has had a hand in guiding two of the country's fastest swimmers to the Olympic Games, and now he's about to help a university in North Carolina start a new men's and women's swim team. Brooks joins us right now from Laurenburg, North Carolina. Hi, Brooks. Good to see you. How are you doing today? Doing great, Jeff. Thank you for having me. So this new team you're working with is at St. Andrews University in Laurenburg, North Carolina. Tell us how you got involved with the school. Well, I was looking to see what my next step was going to be, my career options after um, leaving, leaving Clemson, and um, this job became available. I'd always heard about great things about St. Andrews. Uh, I did some homework, um, liked everything I heard, uh, especially the you know, great quality of education that they offer here. Um, very excited that we're going to be able to offer more um, swimming opportunities, more collegiate swimming opportunities to young men and women. And so just delighted to, that Glenn Batten, our athletic director, gave me this opportunity. How much did the fact that you're going to be starting a new men's and women's swimming team fresh appeal to you? That's enormous appeal. It's, it's really... Uh, a new and unique challenge for me. Um, I've always been blessed to be a part of established programs, but now at, at this point in my career to kind of create something and have some ownership of it and, and partner with St. Andrews is just very exciting. And especially since you came from Clemson, which had to drop its swim teams. I mean, what, was, what were the emotions, what are the emotions for you knowing that you just came from the team that had to be cut after so many years to now starting a brand new team? Well, it's, it's still sinking in, and I, I don't think it's going to really fully hit until next fall when I, I have those young men and women on campus and are able to interact with them and, and get to coach them and work with them and see them in the classroom. Uh, I know how much it is, you know, how much that opportunity has meant to scores of other young men and women that I've um, had the pleasure to work with. And uh, to see that um, lost at Clemson was, was definitely a shame. Um, I think the whole swimming community um, is hurt for that. And um, definitely it was an honor and privilege to be there and be a part of the last year. But it's going to be fantastic to, uh, to be a part of um, opening new opportunities for young men and women here at St. Andrews. Uh, this is going to be a team that's going to be part of the NAIA, correct? Yes. And they don't start competing until the 2013-2014 season, right? That's correct. I'll just be recruiting and, and building and planning this year. So that, that, uh, that, I, I would imagine that's got to be very good for you. You're not starting out with, you know, just like you're hired, here, the, here's your team, get ready. You've got a whole year to kind of get your feet wet, as it were. Yes. It's a, it's a unique and uh, a great opportunity. So you've had a long history at NC State. You were there for 11 years, and uh, you had um, two swimmers come through there who went on to the Olympics, David Fox in 1996, and then Cullen Jones in 2008, and now in 2012. Uh, I would imagine, I mean, it goes without saying, you're extremely proud of the success Cullen's had since um, his days at NC State. Absolutely. I just could not be um, more proud of him that he has um, hung in there and um, you know after after his success in 2008 um, naturally everybody has some time some downtime when they you know question their perhaps their commitment for another four years but um, not only did he hang in there but he keeps taking it to, to new levels and um, just could not be happier and prouder for him what was he like as a swimmer at NC State? We know he won um, NCAA as um, his senior year but what was he like as a swimmer to coach? Um, Cullen was great to work with. Um, I actually um, only got the pleasure of working directly with him. Um, it began in the spring of 2005, going into his senior year. And, um, but he um, was a hard worker, um, enthusiastic, 
Uh, he was a good leader. He was a team captain. Um, Cullen's, as, as most people have gotten to know Cullen through these past years, um, he's a fine young man, and um, he was a pleasure to work with. It was a lot of fun. And moving forward, what, is it, what does it feel like for you as a coach to know that on your resume you have these swimmers like David and Cullen who have gone on to the Olympics? I would imagine that when you're recruiting swimmers at St. Andrews, um, I'm sure it probably helps to know that you, you guided some swimmers to eventual Olympic success. Well, I, I feel like I learn from every swimmer that I get to work with. And, um, and certainly from, from David and Cullen, I, I definitely learned a lot. And, um, and you know, it's, it's an honor to be able to say that I worked with them and, and, and played a part in their career. Well, you, and as a coach, you haven't gone outside of your home, home state of North Carolina very much. Uh, tell me what swimming is like there, not just collegiately, but age group wise. Well, swimming um, in North Carolina has, has really come along, and I think um, the, this past Olympics, um, North Carolina fared very well um, so far as its rep representation um, swimming-wise. Um, we had quite a few Olympians, quite a few medalists, and um, swimming in the state has, has really developed over the past 10 to 15 years. There's a lot of good coaches, a lot of good swimming programs, um, several you know, hotbeds of swimming areas, obviously the Raleigh area, um, the Greensboro, Winston-Salem area, and of course in Charlotte. Well, I, it's great to see that you're going to be continuing that in North Carolina. I'm sure all the uh, swimmers who you're going to be recruiting are already probably even know your, your history of success as we do here, Coach. Congratulations on the new position, and we look forward to seeing how you guys do starting in 2013. Thank you so much, Jeff. Really enjoyed it. My pleasure. Thanks again. So that's Brooks Teal joining us in the Morning Swim Show today. And also, as always, we invite you to follow us on Twitter and Facebook where you can share comments with others around the world. I'm Jeff Cummings. Thanks for watching.